The fuck is a Pokemon? Well, it's like Digimon. Yeah, you know, Pokemon, it's it's, it's kind of like Yo-Kai Watch. You know, the hit series from Japan. World War II is basically the same? What? Wait, now hang on, that's a loaded sentiment. World War II is not a knockoff of Pokemon. Let me make this clear. Now people are gonna start getting muddled up. It's like, wow, they fought with Beyblades in World War II. It's like, don't muddle it up. When we last left off, we successfully killed Metapod. We didn't die. We we have six out of eight badges. We're gonna we're gonna try beat the entirety of Team Rocket because you know we're 11 years old now. That's what you're supposed to do. Are you ready to defeat an entire criminal organization? I hate criminals. <laughs> well, you know, I'm glad you expressed that sentiment in the chat because if you didn't say it. Yo, who would have thought what your stance is on that? Yo, murderers are kind of bad, guys. Controversial opinion. RT is anti-crime, also RT, let's kill your Pokemon. Well, look, I can kill them within reason of the law. Yo, that's what the how the society is based in these games. Like, it's okay if, like, my snake just eats your turtle. Oh, I think we got part of the password there. Was it Slowpoke Tail? Ah, oh, yeah, thanks for clarifying. What was the password again? Okay, Slowpoke Tail. Uh, can you say it a little louder for the people in the back? This guy's just like, I, I don't, I, I didn't hear you say anything. If you get laid off from the company, I wasn't here. Where'd mom go? She hasn't called us in a while, yeah. I mean, maybe she has sympathy for the criminals because she does steal our money as well. Mom is part of Team Rocket. <laughs> She's gonna be at the end. It's like, I was just like, this is what all your allowance has been going towards. It's been funding this criminal syndicate. Here he is. Wahaha, <laughs> we've been waiting for you. So, you are Mickey D. Me? You don't know who I am? It is me, Giovanni. Waluigi, apparently. <laughs> oh, I don't sound anything like Giovanni. Yeah, he's... Can I do a Waluigi voice for... Wah, wah. I don't sound anything like Giovanni. No, I can't. I don't even... <laughs> no. Hey, Petrol, how, how is it going? Unless we're trying to stake into the radio transmit our room. That room is protected with a special password. Password is Hail Giovanni. Why'd you tell me? Get challenged by Waluigi. Let's go. You know, of all the Mario brothers, he's probably the most likely to be involved in the Mafia. Fun fact, I actually got to meet Giovanni when I was um, living in Tokyo. There was an event in a Pokemon Center where, like, like he came out. So, uh, like, they had, like, a stage set up for him, right? Um, and, like, he came out, he started, like... Now, obviously, he was speaking Japanese, so I didn't know what he was saying. But they did actually start saluting him at one point, which was kind of worrying. And it was like just a bunch of kids like supporting this like, you know, criminal leader. Um, it was a bit confusing in retrospect, but the kids seemed to love him. Uh, Giovanni showed up at like, like the Pokemon Center in uh, like Tokyo and started inducting kids to the Yakuza. Uh, it, it was pretty fucked up. But you know, I bought a nice like Beware plushie when I was there. I had a great time. Hey, you're good. We have praise from Waluigi. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Okay, so if I heal first and then he hits me, I should be okay. Or you know if he just misses. I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, forgive me. Like, he's gotta cut off his pinky finger now to prove his loyalty. <laughs> Waluigi time! Okay, well, Murkrow is mimicking his voice, so that's something. Murkrow is just mimicking Waluigi. <laughs> That's not the sound effect I thought it would play. It's a fucking siren. <laughs> Murkro screamed the password, mimicking the voice of Petro. <laughs> Ariana, hold it right there. It's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, there's no chance of winning, don't you agree? No, Lance is gonna help us. We got a Dragonite and Dragonair, let's go. I forgot about this fight. Uh, this is also kind of scary. Yeah, because these, these Pokemon can hit us kind of hard. That's level 25 Arbuck. He just left. He's trying to use Thunder even now. Like, it's just a Murkrow Lance. It's 13 levels stronger than it. Lance is gonna pull out, like, a gun any moment now and just, like, shoot the bird dead. It's like, I'm not losing this Pokemon battle. Like, Lance, no! You really are strong. Too bad if you're the Join Team Rocket, you become an executive. I hope Mom calls, like, right now as we're trying to, like, break up the criminal syndicate. Like, oh, notice you got some new money in your account. This machine is causing all the problems. I don't see a switch in it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. Oh, no. His poor innocent Pokemon. They're completely innocent in this, but we have no choice. Of mice and men all over again. I can catch one of these. I can try to. But they're also dangerous murder balls. So I think it's better to just kill him. <laughs> he turns around. It's like, yeah? You can hit him with this, and we have to switch to Crumpet, because Crumpet is the most bulky thing. Okay, we gotta switch back to Wonka now, because he just keeps screeching at us. Okay, we gotta kill it real quick. You, you can't be allowed to live now. Yeah, we, we can't afford to even try catch it. Oh, no. Because it's gonna get stronger and stronger here. Just take out the electrode. 
This pleases the Yishal. Okay, you gotta die real quick. I can afford to maybe throw a single ball right now and try and get one. Okay, we got an Electro. That's the only one we're gonna catch. It's dangerous. <laughs> if it is too much electricity, it has nothing to do. It amuses itself by exploding. It just amuses itself by killing itself. Like, Electro, that's that's kind of messed up. I'm just gonna call it, like, all caps, BOMB. Uh, that signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the best! She was just waiting for us to leave. She, we lost signal because we were underground. That's why she wasn't calling us. She's playing the long con. Hey, hey, are you shivering? Are you scared to fight me? I think I shat myself when I came in. Oh god, dugong. Price has a dugong, doesn't he? God, what, what does Price lead with? What's his first Pokemon? Price leads with your mum. Uh, anything more helpful than that? <laughs> Price pulls out sheer cold. Please tell me nothing in the gym is sheer cold. Because, uh, like, that actually scares me that something might just instantly die. Do you play Fortnite? Hey, gamers in my chat, do I play Fortnite? Do I get the Battle Royale? Someone just asked. Am I epic enough? I streamed it once. Came third by hiding in a bush for like 20 minutes. Unsub, unfollow. You know, I kind of liked it too. I think I'm going to become a Fortnite y YouTuber now. You know, I, I just really like flossing. I floss every day and I, and I floss in Fortnite too. Sheer cold, <laughs> I too have seen and suffered much of my life. One time I had to play Fortnite against my will. Let me show you a thing or two, Sonny. I've been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Here we go. Leader Price. Oh fuck, he's going to a pile of swine already. Okay, here's the scary one. Use a Surf. Do what we can do, we can just kill it. Perfect. That yeah, was a tough part done. We're, we're, we're good now. <laughs> Willow is my middle name. Willow is flexible and not easily broken. I'm not giving up yet. Wait, Price, what's your last name then? Oh, his first name's Leader. Leader Willow Price. His last name is Victory Royale. <laughs> Let's get him down. That We did it. You are worthy of this badge. Oh, the professor's... You're not, Mom. God, because something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Mickey D, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you, take care. Uh-oh. Been three years, but we've rebuilt the team and restructured. We're proud to announce that we're back. It is Route 47. This is a new area. Um, we can get our encounter for the route here. We get one for the cave, too, because it's technically a different zone. It's a second tentacle. How exciting. Oh, God. Yeah, Yido, you have to calm now. Oh, here's our encounter. It's a Krabby. I gotta be careful not to kill this one. Gilbert has Dragon Rage. That does 40 damage. That should not be too much, yeah? Well, there's one way to find out. There we go. 40 damage. Please do not kill. What? People really want me to call it Mr. Krabs, but <laughs> it's a female. We'll call this one Mrs. Krabs. Scary double battle here. One plus one is two. But the two of us together is much stronger. Two of us just aren't just some boring pair. I've already forgotten your names. Okay, Magmar, little scary. Okay, Magmar's just using protect. That that's couldn't have hoped for better, honestly. Magmar demands social distance, and it kind of does look like his hand is out in front of him. He's like, "Don't come any closer. Stop." Oh, we got six grand for that one. Yeah, of course you call. I heard you got more money than ever before, son. Encounter time. I mean, it's a Pokemon. It's not the worst. Bio Bloom is kind of okay. It's Grass Poison type. We're good. If you don't name him Carl involved in Bio Bloom, you're dead to the Alpha Rad fans. Oh, is that why everyone's saying nickname the Gloom Carl? Okay, well don't worry. I'm not. I'm not gonna disappoint you guys. I put the second T in to annoy people. Oh, Cameron's here as well. We can get another picture of our team together. They're all still alive since the last picture we took. No one's died. Actually, no, Noodle got put in the box, but they're not dead. I'm waiting for you. What do you think? This is a brand new Safari Zone. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get our first encounter in here. We get one shot to get one. The Safari Zone in this game is weirdly modular, and every zone has different encounters, and you can actually customize these zones. Oh, okay. In the mountain biome, which is to the right of the map, you have a very slim chance of finding a Larvitar. Only possible during the day. If we find that, we could get a Tyranitar on the team. It's a very slim chance. We get one shot. We get one shot. Here, just watch it be Rattata. Now, here we go. Come on, Larvitar. No, it's the Tongue Monster. Well, 
There was an attempt. At least we get the tongue. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I hate this Pokemon. Okay, well, well, what are we gonna call it? Slorp? <laughs> but like all caps. Slorp. It can learn Ice Beam. Oh no, don't tell me we're gonna end up using Slorp on the team. Licky Licky is the only Pokemon that can learn self-destruct and get stabbed from it. If you don't want to keep it, you can at least make it go out with a bang. Oh god, <laughs> just use it as a bomb. Just another day in Goldenrod City. Everyone is gone. Wait, can we still go gambling? <laughs> Thank god this place is still open. Hey, Mr. Game, it's been a while. It's like, wow, well, well, the city's been taken over. Guess we better hit the slots. We have to recruit new members for the radio tower mission. Then we ran out of uniforms. Heard this studio had some, so I decided to borrow one. Since you're here, why don't you change as well? Okay, well, we're now undercover. We can infiltrate the city. You must be new, you look pretty good in the Team Rocket uniform. Go on ahead. Hey Team Rocket, stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards. Hey you Mickey D, what are you doing here? No way, you think you're strong now that you look like him? It's foolish, you shouldn't wear those things. He pulls off your clothes. You see, you were trying to be sneaky. Ah, typical idea of the meek insults you and leaves out of help and yeah, like your rival just really sucks in this game. He just put us down and left. He's just angry that he has such a bad name. Well, he shouldn't have dropped his ID at the start. That's what happens. Yo, know, you help someone, like, like, you see someone drop their passport and you pick it up for him and give it back? You get to, like, choose their new name. It's just the law. Like, I wasn't always named RT Game, okay? Some fucker got me when I was a kid. Why don't the criminals just shoot you? They probably should. I guess the logic is, like, Pokemon can kind of act like guns. You know, like, you can have, like, a handgun or you can have, like, a fire-breeding dragon that just, you know, burns your enemies. Both are pretty effective. Guns don't exist in the Pokemon world? Yes, they do. Lieutenant Surge says he fought in a war. Catch about battle the Pokemon the whole war and then suddenly gun. <laughs> Voltorb bombs. They just- imagine, like, in the war they just, like, pick up a Voltorb and throw it at the enemy like a hand grenade. A Magnemite Railgun. Oh, no. I, I, there'd be some interesting ways of fighting. Like, they could just throw, like, a honey comb or something at the enemy and then like a bunch of combi just like swarm in like not the bees mom i'm fighting criminals right now you gotta stop calling the town's in danger mom i don't have time for your vegan food using a weezen is chemical warfare oh god it kind of is isn't it you can't just use poison types like weezen can learn like the move acid as well like you can just throw a weezen into like a platoon of enemy soldiers or like their skin just starts burning i don't like some of these implications <laughs> Mom! Mom, I'm still fighting criminals! Yeah, Beyond Burger's great, Mom. I'll try one later. Ditto's being used as spies! <laughs> Could you imagine you're just in, like, a room of people? It's like, we have to be careful, no information leaks from this room. And it's like, you have, like, your two officers with, like, mustaches, like, the fine facial features. And then you have a human being with just the Ditto smiley face. Because they can't hide that even when they impersonate someone. And all he can say is Ditto. It's like, what's wrong with Jerry today? Ditto? I feel like people are gonna start like scrambling after a while. It's like Jigglypuff, how, how does he kill a man? He's gonna beat a man to death with a Metapod. Just you know, like club him with that thing. I am the director. We've decided to broadcast wonderful shows to praise Team Rocket. Everyone, I don't want to hear you complain. Just do a good job too. Oh no, it's you again, Mickey D. <gasps> Waluigi's back. Nobody's not laughing. Let's beat up Pretzel again. Oh my God, he's got six Pokemon. <laughs> Jesus, and his first one's level 30. How much has he got to throw at us? Like, every trainer up until now has been like, yeah, I'm gonna use like a level 20 Rattata. You guys got a full stack team. Oh no. <sighs> oh God. Oh my God. You got us. Crit self-destruct. Oh. All right. No playing games. We're not fucking about. <laughs> Come on, Crumpet. We're like, we're destroying the rest of his team. Did all of these coffins have self-destruct? I can't believe it's a crit self-destruct. Like, that wasn't even stab or anything. What am I losing? You can go fuck yourself, Waluigi. I didn't even like you in Mario Tennis. There's a reason you don't have a mainline game. I'm a nice guy. I'll give you the basement key to get to the underground warehouse. You fucker. I'm not adding Slorp to the team. <laughs> I fucking hate Slorp. May Arson rest in peace. Oh no, that's a hard loss there. Crumpet, it's just me and you now, pal. We're gonna take on the world. Nothing's gonna stop us, okay? I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you were here, I'll repay my debts. Yeah, okay, that boy. Let's go. Egg's getting scrambled now. Oh yeah, Egg's in real trouble. 
I don't know how long Egg's gonna last in this fight, because believe me, it's not looking good for my poor Pokemon. I just don't know how I'm gonna get out of this horrible situation. Is what that Lance guy said true? I don't treat Pokemon properly. Yes. Just don't understand. Not going to end here, not now. I'll give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Okay, see you later, friend. Work over your goods. Okay, just take my credit card, it's all my money. Just please don't hurt me, Duncan. Take everything I own. I'm taking off like my shoes in the department of the, like the bottom of this department store. And someone tries to rob you, but your mom took all your money. Like, dude, I don't have much left. You can have my wallet itself, but good luck. Mom. <laughs> I'm missing her calls because I just don't expect her to be this clingy. Who, what? You came to rescue me. Thank you. The radio tower, what's happening there? Take this card key. I'm gonna stay chill in the basement a while. No, he's just chilling here. You're not gonna leave the basement? Goodbye. The amulet coin. Oh, we finally get it. We can actually get some money in the game now. More money for mother? <laughs> oh no, you're right. Mom, where does the money go? Why do you have like four new Gucci designer handbags? Mom is running an MLM. <laughs> oh no, that's why she keeps needing the money. She's not making any profit. She's invested all of these savings in fucking berries. Let me sell you some Herbalife products. It's like, Mom, no. Buy essential oils. Mom. This time it looks like you're really all alone. All alone. Bring it, let's finish this. Cobb that alone, I have the power of my friends. My Pokemon. Well, now would be a good time to switch into a fire type. Oh, it's time for you to get fried. Oh, uh, let me just say that line again in a moment. Everyone get ready, the Pog Champ. It's time for you to... Get fried. Flawless delivery. Badass ex execution. It's just such a witty and clever streamer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We'll not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. Like they just throw a new character on you all of a sudden. You've never once seen this man. And he's the final boss. Let's get him. Jesus. Like, seriously, the level balance is so out of whack in this game. Cause this Houndara is now like th level 35. We were fighting trainers to tree Pokemon before like they were level 23 apiece. It jumped 12 levels. Oh, he's got a Hound Doom as well. Oh no. Like, this thing is eight levels higher than me. Jesus. Holy shit. That was a resisted hit. Attack drop. We need to go, we need to go on the Wonka. <laughs> oh my God. This may not even kill. No, it did. It was max min there. Fucking hell, like... Use one of these and see how... My god! Not the egg! I dropped my touch pen. <laughs> That's like the nerdiest, like, the stakes are getting high. That's like, oh, I need... My glasses fell off my face! I dropped my DS stylus! Oh, fucking hell. Like, every fight was easy up until this point. But then it's like Rocket Executive. Yeah, my Pokemon's like 15 levels higher than everything. Like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Jesus Christ, Mom. <laughs> Mom, it's not a good time. <laughs> Without fail, she calls. And now look at the levels. It's like suddenly it's like, yeah, level 27 Natu. It's like you get no experience from these things. These guys are just standing here, like, waiting for someone to come in their line of sight. Wait, I, I, I see someone coming down the road. Oh, he stepped to the left. Oh, I can't get him. I can't, I'll, I'll wait for the next one. I'll wait for the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, walk into my home and, like, she just, like, jingles my pockets. Like a goblin obsessed with gold or something. Let me see what you got, son. It's like, mom, mom, I just want to go to my room. You don't get to go to your room yet. How much is in your pockets? Ice pass. I think we just want Swinup. I think that's the only one here that really matters. Come on, Swinup. Oh, you make me sad, game. You make me so sad. Joey, I'm trying to work out the puzzle. Let's get together and battle. I promise things will be different. Through 30's where I'll be, give me a shout when you come. Oh shit. Joe, Joey's not just bragging about Rattata, he wants us to fight Rattata. Oh, where were you? We could have been so good together, swine up. Gotta run because he can kill me with ground type attacks. A choice scarf. Oh, what? that's actually a proper good item. Um, choice scarf ups your H, well, your speed by like, like 50%. It, it's actually like a item that's used in competitive Pokemon. Um, that's actually good though. 
Because yeah, like the speed boost is definitely worth it because if you can get in quick and kill a Pokemon, that could be our strategy against Lance. His mom might help us win. Choice Scarf self-destruct Slurp. <laughs> the ultimate strategy reveals itself. Here he is. I've been waiting. Let's battle now. Party wipe incoming. You're challenged by Youngster Joey. He's been on the phone about his ratata this entire time. He has deceived us. We got it down. <laughs> Good fight, Joey. Uh, you, you did your best. Give us your money, Joey. And yet another loss. No doubt about it, you're tough. And beating this off, it actually feels good. <laughs> oh no, Joey, I don't think you realize what you're saying.